everyone welcome back again to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video in this video i'm going to be showing you how i did this akara satin band it is very easy um all my videos is all about beginner sewing anyway and i took my time to explain the t stages so please keep on watching and also i just want to say this is a new channel which i'm bringing up now and it's all about uh, my tailoring the other channel i have really beginners tailoring and hair it's all about pattern drafting and bits bits and bits and bits about sewing so please keep on watching and you see how i did this hair thank you very much hello everyone welcome back again to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video today videos i'll be teaching you how to make a ankara sati bonnet and these are the measurements i'll be using so please keep on watching so i'll be making use of this pattern circle pattern paper which i drafted for sati bonnet i did it on my other channel so i'll be leaving a link on my description box where you can find my other channel and also this is my scissors and this is the ankara i'll be using for this tutorial so guys let's get started so because in this method i'm going to show you a simple method you see this a carbonet is what is is what I use in my to make, to make a A-line dress for a child, which I'll be showing later on my channel. So what I did was this. This material is not enough. You can see if I fold it like this, like this, and I place my circle pattern on it, it will not give me the actual amount I want. You see, they see. So what I decide to do is this: how to manage my material. What I decided to do is I split the material into two. As you can see, I split into two like this. So let me keep this aside. So what I decided to do here is this is the wrong side of the fabric. Let me check. Yeah. Guarantee. This is the right side of the fabric. So I'm going to turn it like this. This is the wrong side of the fabric. So I'm going to use my circle, which I drafted. I'm going to open it. No, normally it's like this. So I'm going to open it like this. Then I'll place it on the material like this. Like so. I remember also, I need to leave one inch, which I'm going to be attaching it to the other half of the circle. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take one inch here straight down one inch from here straight down so if you can see I left the one inch here this is what this one inch I'll be needing it to add the other part of the circle which I'm going to cut out so this is what I decided to do here so now I'm going to cut from here straight down like this now you can see i finished cutting it so i'll take off my part of paper cover it up like this i'll keep the circle aside so i'll take the other uh, material like so sorry <laughs> okay so remember the circle i cutted was like this so I need to cut another circle like this to face this side. So as you can see, I've cut out the other side of the circle. And if you see now, the circle, you can see the big circle. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to add it together like so. Make sure the edge is equal like this. Then I'll now stitch the one inch straight down to get the circle that I want. For the satin, I did it, I, the same formula I used for the Akara. That's what I use for the satin as well. Place the right side of the fat, fat, satin together like so. Right side to right side. Then I stitch through. 
as you can see i've stitched the two sides of the circle so i'm just going to trim some of it out like so as you can see i've had the circle together so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to flip it like this then you see this place here i'm going to bring it over like this then i'll flip it like so then i will stitch straight down as you are stitching it make sure you're smoothing it out with your hand i'm not going to put it down like this see the way i did it now then then i'll start stitching don't rush it just be stitching it slowly slowly so as you can see i've laid the two circles together so what i did here this is the right side and this is the right side of the ankara fabric right side to right side i put it together make sure they are all equal like so then the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to go to the middle and fold it like so then from this tip here make sure they're all equal like this i'll measure at two inches so for me i'll measure at you can measure two inches or you can measure three inches but i think i have to measure at three inches from here so from here i measure at three inches from here like so so i now create draw a curve like so so i've done that i will now take my scissors make sure that all equal then i'll now take my scissors like so then i'll now cut from here so you see the way i'm cutting it i'm just cutting around like a circle So now, I'll now take it to my sewing machine, like so. I'll now sew it from here, this way. I'll now cut okay. the tip here, like this, all through, round. Okay. So now, after cutting the tip, I'm going to flip it over like so. Now, I'm going to stitch this side. When you are stitching, make sure is smooth and, and, and the edge is all equal as well like this as you can see i've stitched this side so the next thing i'm going to do here i'm going to stitch round this place and make sure it's all equal this way and this way before you sew your satin bonnet make sure you pin it because if it doesn't pin it the satin bonnet and the acara fabric will just be everywhere so it's preferable you pin both the satin and the acara together so when you are sewing it the fabric will not move so now that i've finished stitching it round i'm going to keep this aside then i work on the on the belt now the next thing is for me to prepare the band for the satin hair bonnet so what i have here is this i have length of 72 inches then the width is five inches so i need half an inch or half an inch on both sides to tidy up the edges so what i'm going to do now is to tidy up the edges here and to tidy up the edges here so i'm going to take it to my sewing machine i'm going to sew this like this in inward then i'll go to the other side i'll sew the other side in hours as well when i finish doing that i'll come back and show you what i did see i finished stitching the half an inch so here is a straight line so what i'm going to do next is this i'm going to find the midpoint of this length so what i'll simply do is this i'll fold it like so so here i can find the midpoint once i fold it see so here is the midpoint because this side and this side is equal so i'll come here like so like this then the next thing i'm going to do you remember my my head 
my head circumference here was 23 so that's a 3 divided by 2 what you have what i have is 11.5 so the next thing i'm going to do here at the mid spot here so at the mid spot here you can see i'll make sure 11.5 here like so yes 11.5 so i'll just use my big shock to make sure 11.5 now open it like this make sure it's 11.5 so next thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to fold it together like so remember yes my mid spot yes my miss spot so i forgot to explain this yes my miss spot here so yes level point five and here also it's level point five as well no point five here as well here from there so the next i'm going to fold it together like so and because my iron has a fault so i'm going to be using my pin to stick it, it together because my iron is faulty at the moment so i use my pin to stick it up like so from here so i'm going to do that straight so as you can see i finished folding it all together with the help of my pin so as you can see here is the mid spot you see if you fold it like this can see I'm literally not for you guys to see here is the mid spot this is the mid spot so I just mark it like so then I'll flip it open like this then the next thing I will do here is to find my head sacrifices was 23 so i divide 23 by 2 and like what i earlier said is 11.5 so that 11.5 from here i'll make sure 11.5 here from here 11.5 maybe 11.5 i'll go to the other side as well from here to here is 11.5 as well so i just mark it down so i won't get confused so now the next thing I'm going to do here is this. So now I have my circle here, my bonnet. So the next thing I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to look for the mid spot. This is the mid spot here. So I'm going to put it on the mid spot here as well. I'm going to flip it open like this and insert it in. So I'm going to pin it pin the mid spot and mid spot of this together like so so it's pain now so the next thing I'm going to do I took my my this is my needle I'm going to use this to to create a gather on it so I'm going to start a gather from here. I started from the mid spot and I, and I just put the needle like see if you are you're sewing, create a lot of space like this. So I'm going to create a gather up to this tip. So as you can see, I've already created the gather on this side. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start creating the gather on this other side as well. So what I'm going to do here is this. I'm just going to stick my my this inside like so I'll stick it in then I'll start dragging it in and I put it in as well just start stitching it um, and I drag it and start again so 
so as you can see i've made the gather there so haven't done this i'm just going to stick my my needle that way so i'm going to be careful so this gather will not come off so i'll come on this other side remember the the, the 11.5 issues that which i mark out so i make sure all this gathered fits from this place to this place so i'm going to arrange the gathered inside this place like so I'll stick it in so what i will first of all do is to pin this place to this place to the level point five to the end of the level point five like so let's see i will now pin it in so now i need to fit all this gather inside that hole inside the opening So I'll just take my time to arrange it. So I'm arranging it. I'm just arranging the gather. So they all fit to the length of the level point five. So do it like this you can see it fits in so now i'm going to start putting it in into the hole like so take my pin and i'll pin it in you can see i finished arranging the the band to the circle you can see the shape of the cap the bonnet cap is coming out so the next time i'm going to do here i'm going to stitch it all here through i'm going to stitch stitch down stitch 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 here then when i get to this place i'm going to you can either create a a curve here if you wish but i decide not to create a curve i'm just going to stitch here straight then i'll fold it in like so take down for the other side in like so as well fold it in then i will stitch out the same thing here as well so i'm going to take it to my machine and stitch all through around this way so as you can see i finished stitching this satin hair bonnet sakara bonnet so you can see I was able to cut this and just give it a line shape. So this is the inside. You can wear it like so if you want to. Or on the other hand, you can wear it like this as well. So you can wear it, they call it reversible satin bandit, which you can wear. This one doesn't have elastic, so you don't need to bother about having pain around your head so guys if you like this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe and share my video and give my video a thumbs up and i will see you on my next video so for now one peace one love and bye for now bye for now